<laughs> if on, we are voting on Tuesday, mm -hmm. assuming on Wednesday evening, uh, breaking news, one of the candidates uh, uh, concedes and says, from the way we are seeing clearly, we have seen Kenyans have decided, uh, their message is very clearly so and so is, is going to be the one. I can tell you. Even, even all the observers, all these other guys, who, will, who, will, who will, their reports will be rendered irrelevant because uh, political leaders have such a sway and influence in, in boosting confidence and promoting uh, really the standpoint of our country and even our democracy. So my appeal really is to speak to the greatness in either comes that uh, we, our country is greater. Mm -hmm. Uh, greater than and greater than uh, all of us, but also appealing to IBC and all this process to deliver an election that the outcome will reflect and mirror uh, the intentions of our. And of public. course, this would be based on the fact that we have free, fair, just, just elections. elections. Martin Olo, do you think it's too late for IEBC to stand out clean and make? their position very, very clear that we can deliver these elections free and fair. I think the time is now. It's not late. The time is now. And again, to their credit, they put out a whole ad, um, I think a day or two ago, where they were telling people, this is what you'll do. This is how the elections will be. We'll open at 6. We'll close at 5. This is how we shall, you know, shall vote. So there's an education and a whole engagement that we, we must see uh, from IBC. They must be in our media houses telling us how, what we should do. Remember, it is actually only IBC that is neutral in this business, who wants, who, who is IBC that can tell a voter how a voter should behave on that day mm -hmm. and how he should, the voter should ensure that their vote counts. So that's the only one. Otherwise, everybody else wants the voter to do it their way. Mm -hmm. And if they can get the, the voter to do it their, you know, even in, in a way that is using a hand, they will do it. But IBC wants a voter to do it in the most uh, open, free and fair way. Mm -hmm. So yes, IBC now has this to come out very clearly. Uh, and in addition to that, the key message that we really must tell all political players is that election offenses or uh, the basis for election petitions does not come on the 8th. It comes before. If there are any offenses or if there is any reason for a, a petition, it is now. So by the time elections are being done, you can, you, your teams, your legal teams should have told you whether there is uh, grounds for petition or not. So conceding on that day should be informed because you already know, you've looked at the trends, you've looked at even uh, whatever, and you realize that there isn't much that can be done. That doesn't take away your right to petition. It doesn't take away your constitutional uh, right to, you know, to, to raise any issues that you think you need to raise. But for the sake of the country, we need to be able to come to a closure. And coming to a closure is as early as midnight on the on Wednesday. or on midnight or nine. Mm. We should be able to be seeing one team saying, hey, we did a good fight, but it's time to pack and think again. For some, of course, it's time to pack that and go. That would definitely yeah. be a huge culture shift because we've not had that before, no, uh, as opposed to what we I normally said, I said, I, I, I quoted uh, Uhuru Kenyatta in 20, yeah. 20, 20, 2002. I think we, it's just that the 2007 and 2013 elections, uh, the management the was the, uh, overshadowed. We have done it in the past. And, mm. and actually, even in the, the uh, as surely our nominations were, we have governors who conceded even before the elections. Like so, uh, uh, credit goes to Cleophas of Nandi. You remember the way he came? If the elections was being declared, he walked into the hall and actually conceded defeat uh, openly. I think um, there are, maybe we need to tell our story and tell the complete story. Mm -hmm. There are even uh, people in the, um, as in who, who say, who did not even contest the nominations because they could see the mood that truly the wave is, is not in their favor. So, uh, Martin, in, in just in concluding, it is important. And, and really, the people we should speak to is the president, mm -hmm. uh, Raila Odinga, and the institutions managing the elections. If they do that, uh, I can tell you, we, we will be glad to come on. Uh, we are not inviting ourselves, I and Martin, on the Thursday to really say that uh, thanks for heeding to our message. Mm -hmm. It might not be from this. <laughs> uh, and, and seeing how our country moves ahead. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. We'll have to wind up the dawn debate right there. That's Martin Olo and Vincent Kimosop, uh, who are political political analysts basically just giving us uh, well their analysis on the polls and also uh, what we should look forward to with only 14 days to go before the 8th of August where Kenya decides. Well, we're going to take a short break. This is Morning Express. When we come back, we'll also be looking at the way it is right here on Morning Express. So do stay with us.